Hey everybody, my name is Paul. This is Cindy. Hi guys. <laughs> Our channel is High Seas Paul and Cindy. Check us out on Facebook, High Seas Friends Travel and High Seas Friends Travel at gmail.com if we can help you book a cruise. Let's get into the, I would say the cabin update there. We did yes. a little cabin tour when we first got on the Carnival Luminosa. So we're going to do an update after we were on it for seven days. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to get into the top six lows and we'll work our way into the top six highs. Yes. First low was, I'm going to say, the phone and the phone cord. Big, had like a <laughs> big like, mound of phone cord. And every time you tried to pull on it, that it didn't have the clip on it, so it'd come out. You'd be on hold for room <laughs> service. That was a bit of a low on room service too, wasn't it? Yeah, room service wasn't the greatest. Yeah, room service was pretty slow. So most of the time we just gave up and got dressed and went down, down to the dining room. But that phone and that phone cord was quite a quite an issue. You'll there. see that picture there, but it's just like every time you would try to like just move it a little bit, it would come right. There was no right. like little attachment. So like one hand would have to hold it. And one, <laughs> so terrible. crazy guys. All right, let's get into number five here. Number five. Normally, when you're on a carnival cruise, you got a separate body wash and a shampoo. Yes. This ship, they decided to put it all in one. <laughs> body, body soap and shampoo. Guys, let me tell you, it was awful. It was, I, I couldn't make up my mind if it smelled like Raid or if it smelled like Aquanet. Anyways, make sure you bring your own body wash, shampoo, conditioner, because it's an all-in-one and it yeah. is awful. If you care about your hair, men or women. Just the smell, smell alone, guys, was awful. I would not use it at all. All right, let's get into number four. So number four has got to be the balcony chairs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, horrible. Horrible. I thought they were comfortable though. Yeah. But the problem is, is when I got up, the whole, whatever I was wearing was completely white. And that's because the chairs were completely oxidized. Yeah. So all the white was coming off, completely worn out and faded. They were comfortable though. They were comfortable, but they're a little dirty on the handles. But maybe they just couldn't wash them but, out completely oxidized and just about ready to fall apart to be honest with you i was a little nervous in so the don't service. go out there with your nice dress or right, nice yeah. pair of shirt and shorts no or whatever way. you wear don't no do way. it because your clothes will be ruined all right let's get in the next one all right guys and so number three here is going to be the wallpaper in a couple spots and the seams there were completely Ripping. peeling then you know how Carnival, the old school cruise ships there, they have that border there, that the and aluminum metal. piece that goes around mm -hmm. there, the border. Well, it was kind of rattling quite a bit. So their solution was to stick a couple pieces of paper <laughs> in there along the way. And we'll get you some pictures on yeah, that. Yeah, that was kind of a little... Kind of hokey here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, definitely didn't do a lot of upgrade there on the cabins, unfortunately. It rattled, but it, that, those little pieces of paper did not work. All right. Let's get into number two quickly, Cindy. Number two's got to be the thin walls. Oh. Yeah, you could literally hear, you could almost make out the conversation between you your neighbors. You put a glass in the wall, I'm sure you could. <laughs> Remember, guys, we didn't have a connecting room. Yeah, and the only time I've ever heard that before on a Carnival cruise ship, or any cruise ship for that matter, is if I had an adjoining room. And I think we only did that one time and we learned by accident, lesson. yeah. So I don't know the cost of ship there. I guess they don't um, insulate their walls well because you can hear your neighbors. Everything, everything you can hear, just about right. every word. All right, so let's get into number one. All right, guys, so let's get into the biggest low here. <laughs> this is the bad. Kind of freaks Cindy out a little yeah. bit. Not as bad, I mean, 50 50 on this one. Uh, I would say her part's more the first and then mine's the second part. So they, instead of having normal knobs on there, which you can wipe and all that, they had little pieces of rope, rope. like uh, leather rope. And it was pretty wore out and stained. One and, of them broke too. Yeah, just generally kind of nasty looking. They look very clean. And so, how can they sanitize a rope to open up a drawer or anything right. like that? So mine awesome. would be the general, you know, cleanliness of the cabin. I had to call the cabin steward back in when we first got in because there was still hair in the in the drawers in the bottom there and I had to get that re-wiped out and I don't think they did the greatest cleaning job but I think they were pretty rushed there and they could have been a little short-handed as so usual. So be aware that the handles are I mean they don't seem like they can sanitize those handles right. I just don't get it they should replace yeah. those. Yeah my issue was more the you know 
the overall how clean the cabin was and we had to get it touched up seemed like they were in a bit of a rush but the guy was you know very kind about it and did a great job so you know that and uh you know definitely the the balcony chairs were or definitely a dis yeah definitely a disappointing the biggest problem there I, I keep going over is they were oxidizing so bad the white would come off on all your clothes all right guys let's get into the highs okay my friends let's get into the highs so hey make sure you hit the subscribe guys we got a lot of alaska content coming carnival luminosa and many other cruises that we haven't quite finished up yet so hang in there guys and we'll see you on the high seas and let's get on to the highs here i'm going to say the number six high is going to be the beds the beds were pretty comfortable i like them yeah not the most comfortable carnival bed that i have but it was definitely comfortable um it was a little firmer than i'm used to i normally like when they have the air beds and you kind of just sink into them but these ones were firm beds but i definitely enjoyed it and it was a it was a good bed cindy you, really liked you it you can always ask the room store to put a, one of those fluffy toppers on there too if you needed right. that so you can always request that too they will always take care of you as yeah much as they can. whatever you need if it's too saggy they'll put a bit yes a board under the bed there they're always willing to make you guys comfortable and don't hesitate to ask all right let's get on to number five all right number five is going to be a newer tv looks like they put a newer newer tv they on did. there so it was a little bit larger. It wasn't quite as big as the ones they have on the brand new ships, but it was definitely an upgrade compared to like when we were on the Pride. I like and, the location of the TV too, yeah. right over the big. Because we yeah. like to watch the cameras or sometimes at night we like to like leave the music right. on and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just the background noise. Yeah. And I think it was the right size TV for the cabin. And I think so good too. Good picture and good mm -hmm. reception. And so not that you spend a lot of time uh, watching yeah. the TV, but when we did, it worked out well. It did. All right, let's move on to the next side. So the number four high here is going to be that they upgraded the USBs. I'm sure the ship did not have it. Uh, so they did put the USBs right next to the bed. That was a perk for me. So yeah. I can plug in my camera or anything. Phones, phones chargers. Chargers. Yeah. chargers so it was yeah. perfect. Well, we've done older ships like the Pride and Conquest yeah. and stuff like that. They haven't done that. So that was definitely a good feature there on our cabin. So uh, just look by your bed, the first table. There it is, guys. All right. Let's get into number three. All right, our third high in this cabin was, Cindy, something that you really enjoyed to me. I mean, I could take it or leave it, but she really thought it was great, and that was the sheer curtain on there. I love the sheer curtain. They gave you two curtains for the balcony. You can make it pitch black, or if you just want it during the day, you put a sheer on there, yeah. and it was brought a little light in, so it was actually perfect. Yeah, yeah uh, you know, and it was very nice. It I just, liked it. It kind of didn't make the, you know, the sunlight too bright there, so it was definitely a nice feature. Especially I would if say. you're getting dressed, you can just put that sheer curtain on and just feel right. comfortable getting dressed and stuff like that, instead of putting the dark one and you have to turn every light on in the cabin. Right, so. exactly. Mm -hmm. Good point, Cindy. All right, moving along. All right, number two high here. This has to be probably one of the most requested thing that people ask us about. Yeah. Does the ship have magnetic walls? Yes, the ship has magnetic walls. And we bought some uh, big magnetic hooks, Oops. which worked out great for Alaska there because we could hang, you know, our hats, we could hang our robes, Extra jackets, jackets yeah. stuff that we were putting on and off, going in and out of the balcony, etc., and so on. So. Yeah, definitely the fact that, you know, they had a magnetic wall and we brought our hooks that made a great feature. That was very nice. Right. And that was our number one probably requested question. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> they're there, guys. All right, let's move on to the number one high. All right, guys. All right. So our number one high here, it's a little involved. It's kind of long. So <laughs> definitely I'm going to start with the storage area. A lot of cabinets, a lot of storage. Yeah. We had the three big closets. We had tons of cabinets space all along. We, underneath the couch, we had two big nice pull out ones. drawers, which we were able to put our boots in for hiking, our big jacket stuff that was for extreme weather. And we had stuff for all our camera gear, knickknacks and perfect. stuff. Yeah. So definitely compared to a newer ship, that was a major plus that it had a lot of cabinet space. And then moving from there on into the bathroom, the bathroom scene, you know, very spacious, very spacious, especially, you know, if you've been following us, you know, we've done all the newest ships, all the newest XL ships. So those bathrooms are kind of cramped. Tiny. Newer ships have the two glass cabinets on each side. These have the full three and the bathroom's really large. Which... I love that. And the shower is pretty big. Yeah. Um, 
if you come out of the bathroom i mean you a lot of space guys. a lot of space yeah so if you can get past the color configuration there in the bathroom <laughs> the burgundy and the orange it's okay you'll definitely appreciate the space I did and then our final part of the number one high there is just the general size of the cabin very spacious the balcony is larger it is. and definitely one thing that we've noticed on the newer ships are the ships are getting bigger but the cabins are getting kind of tighter yeah. and you know i'm not humongous but i am a little larger so it's definitely nice for me to have a larger and cabin. And I like the bed near the balcony so you can look out. Because yeah. usually if it's right when you walk in, you have to walk around. So right. it's actually our cabin was perfect. Yeah, and I just love the overall space in the cabin. Very nice, yes, you know. So the parts dated. Unfortunately, they didn't update the cabins. They did a little bit on the ship there. And speaking of the ship, hey guys, hang in there. We've got a full ship review coming up. On the highs and lows of the carnival luminosa and if we think you should book or not my friends we'll see you out on the high seas my name's paul this is cindy i'm cindy guys cheers here's to y'all we'll see y'all out there